Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Hypatia of Alexandria and what her contributions were to astronomy. So let's take a look here. And what we see is that Hypatia was born in the fourth century AD and was a very prominent philosopher and teacher who taught both philosophy and astronomy. Now, of course, we have to remember that many things were the same back then. Philosophers and astronomers and scientists were all really tied together. Now we know that in terms of her work, she edited at least one volume of Ptolemy's Almagest. Now that was one of the greatest works to come out of Greek astronomy. And she did work on editing and editing some of that later on. So in her time, she was able to do some editing on that. And we know at least one volume. Of course, it could have been more. Again, many records from this time are gone. So we only know for based on what is left that we're able to tell. We also know that she was a mathematician and wrote a commentary on the arithmetica. And that was again a prominent mathematical work. And she did a detailed commentary on that. We also know that she was known to construct astrolabes. Now an astrolabe, an example of one of those is pictured here. And those were devices that were used to determine the date and time and predict visibility of the planets and stars. So devices like this were very important. Remember, we're talking long before computers and other type of uh, electronic calculators. So this was the way to be able to predict when things would be visible in the sky. So very important devices used uh, over a thousand years ago. Now we do know that she was murdered in the year 415. And the reason for that is not completely known. Uh, this is a sketch of, you know, a future th thought of maybe what happened. And it was considered that it might have been to political jealousy, meaning that there were different schools of philosophy and they would compete against each other and things could get rather violent. And it was likely and possible that she was killed because of this. So let's go ahead and summarize a little about what we found out about Hypatia. We know that she lived in the fourth century and was a teacher and an astronomer in Alexandria. We know that she edited at least part of the Almagest written earlier by Ptolemy. And we know that she was known for building astrolabes. So that concludes this lecture on Hypatia of Alexandria. We'll be back again next week to discuss another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.